was then about you know Isaiah being out indefinitely. I guess you know what, what does that mean for this team? Well, we're gonna miss miss him. Uh, we don't know for how long, but uh, just with his uh, presence out there on the floor, uh, his skill set. Yes, he's been shooting the ball very well from the outside. Um, a junior guy who's played in a lot of big games, uh, been a starter for us, and been having a really good season. But you know, we have the mentality, and I'm sure you guys heard me say this before, we're next man up. Uh, we give guys like Brandon and Colin uh, a chance and an opportunity to step in that role and uh, do, do it by committee. We trust uh, the guys that are playing behind Isaiah and you know the work that they're going to be getting in practice, the game reps that they're, they're going to receive, that they will you know be there to give us that production that we need from that four spot. As far as uh, the starting lineup, or can, are you going to share who that next man up would be? Yeah, right now I do not have the starting lineup. Um, I haven't gone that far yet with it, but I know that we're truly going to be looking at a lot of different bodies to fill that role. Anthony? Uh, Juwan, kind of looking at the fact that you mentioned, you know, kind of a by committee group. I mean, what are you looking from those, from those guys to do? I mean, is it kind of not doing too much or not trying to do too much and just kind of stick with, you know, what their role is? Well, I would say this, um, you know, you lose, what, 14 points a game. So the, I don't want anyone to feel like because, the, you know, a guy who's been averaging 14 points that, you know, I have to be the next man to now give us 14 points or 16 points. No, that's not the mentality. That's not what we're looking for. Um, you know, be that guy to come out there and give us the stability, uh, defend at the four spot, sometimes at the three spot, communicate our defense, uh, be active defensively, um, play with a lot of heart, a lot of passion, and play the right way. And I think production will happen when you have that type of mindset. Uh, when you come in and feel like you need to score, 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 uh, what that does is just puts too much pressure on yourself and then it also hurts the team. Jay? Juwan, Isaiah, he's kind of dealt with injuries over his career here. I mean, any idea how he maybe handled the news, I guess, when he found out he'd be out indefinitely? Well, I know that any player, and that's Isaiah and anyone who has been injured, when you know that you're going to miss some time and you don't know for how long, uh, it can be very you know, frustrating. Um, sometimes players go into a deep depression because they are so competitive, they don't want to miss any time, they feel they're letting down their teammates, the staff. Uh, I just want him to keep the mindset that you know, each and every day the goal is to get improved. And um, let's make sure that when you do come out there, you're healthy and you're ready to go. Uh, don't feel like you have to rush back. Uh, his health is more important than anything. And obviously you have, after this game, you have Big Ten play picks up and you mentioned rushing back. How do you make sure he doesn't try to get back you know, for that first game maybe to push himself? Well, I'm sure he, he knows his pain tolerance as well as how his body heals. But I also trust our medical staff, which we have elite level medical staff, uh, that will make sure that he doesn't do anything that will hurt him and his chances of re-injuring himself that when he does come back, that he's 100, hopefully 110%. Brendan? We've seen you use so many different lineups, whether it be three guards, whether it be two bigs, things like that. You played for a stretch of time without Franz um, early on. Does the fact that you guys have never really had just a completely set, defined roster rotation, whatever it might be, does that help at all in this instance that guys aren't kind of set in a certain way? I don't, I don't have no idea if it helps. I know it just from a coaching standpoint, you know, it, it can be uh, at times a little frustrating uh, when you don't have your full roster out there. Um, you know, each and every coach want to have um, their players that they feel that's going to help the team and, uh, and give them the best, best chances of winning. Um, we need all 15 guys. Yes, we've had some adversity early on with Franz being out, and that was challenging for us. Now with Isaiah, uh, it's going to be even more challenging for our group, but uh, we're going to continue to keep forging ahead and hopefully hold the fort down until he returns. Josh? We just spoke with uh, Brandon Wade. You know, what kind of player are you getting and what do you kind of foresee his, his role to be 
obviously can't play this year, but you know, going forward. Well, Brandon, uh, you know, this is going to be a lot to learn from him, uh, from joining the team uh, half half the season. Uh, he's going to get a lot of practice reps, uh, learning our the way how we the Michigan way, um, and he's such a you know positive kid, hardworking. Type of mindset where he just wants to, you know, do whatever he can to help the team get better. And um, I, I know with, if he continues with that attitude, that we will see Brandon grow as a player. And, and as far as what role, uh, his role will be defined on what he brings to practice. Juwan, looking at the fact that you know, going back to to Libra, just really quick, you mentioned. You know, after the last game, that you hope that you know wouldn't be anything too serious. So, what were your emotions like, and what were you feeling when you uh, when you found out that he was going to be out indefinitely? Well, great question. Um, when he came down and he, and he started walking back towards the bench, I knew that that was like, oh, that right there, that was a sign of that can be painful, and hopefully, it's not too serious because where in the area he grabbed and where he felt the pain. Having my experience with injuries, but I never had an injury like this, um, being able to see teammates who have experienced some injuries like that before, um, I knew it wasn't good. But you know, we're just going to keep him positive, uh, keep getting him healthy. Uh, he's going to be very disciplined with his uh, his um, rehab treatment, and I know he's going to be diligent with that. He wants to be out there. We need him. He knows it. We need us. We need each other. <laughs> you grab that. Well, as far as, as far as Brandon goes, you know, you don't just add anyone to your program, even a non-scholarship guy. What what about him? You know, did you like uh, that you thought he'd be a good fit with, with these guys? Brandon. Yeah. Oh, Brandon Wade. Yes, sir. Right. Yeah, because the first person I thought of right. was Brandon Johns. <laughs> All these names, man. <laughs> say, uh, say. <laughs> you know, but Brandon, uh, you know, I, I knew a little bit of Brandon, um, excuse me, a little bit about Brandon early on when I first took the job. Um, I also knew about his little brother. I got a chance to meet his dad before. Um, you know, he's, he's interesting. You know, here's a guy who had a scholarship that he came and Learning, grinding, getting better. Uh, decided that you know this wasn't a good situation for him. They wanted to find a better situation. And, um, so happened we had a spot available. And, uh, now um, we're going to help him grow. Uh, we're going to coach him up and develop him, and you know, we'll see where you know it goes from there. Yes, I pray that we do. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. Great question. <laughs> it's true. You know, the word is, you know, definitely, but um, just got to take it day by day and see, you know, each day, you know, what we're going to do. Yeah. Uh, Brandon, you know, you mentioned that you had some injuries early on. Yeah. Can you talk about that for a little bit? Yeah. 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 Ye
know some sports I didn't name. Please don't be upset with me, but I, I have followed Michigan. So when I, when I joined the program as a coach here, you know, I just it, it's nothing fake about it. You know, I just I'm here to support. You know, I love sports. I love going to a volleyball game. I haven't been yet to a Michigan volleyball game. I'm trying to um, see one, but I enjoy just you know seeing you know, different sports and. I enjoy golf. I, I don't even play golf, but I watch Tiger a lot. I support the, you know, the Michigan golf team, women's and men. Um, one day I would like to get out there and visit, you know, one of their their, their um, meets or whatever you want to what's whatever the terminology you use for it. Uh, but I, I'm just happy to be a part of greatness, and I consider Kim one of the best coaches in women's basketball. I, I, I love the way how her program um, and how they, as a group of their coaches and players, and how they gel and how they, the relationship they have in practice, and shows and games, on, the, on how they just all for one another and they're all about family, and, um, how the, her players take to her program. And, um, I'm learning. I sat there and wanted her practice and uh, watched how she ran her practice and how uh, the women took the coaching and you know, enjoyed her leadership. Um, I, I liked how she pushed her girls and um, how they took to it and still you know, didn't show any type of uh, bad body language and enjoyed the coaching from it. And, uh, enjoyed being pushed on, to get uncomfortable. Uh, I, I saw one of her plays that she ran out baseline out of bounds that I'm trying to steal. So <laughs> you always can learn. But yes, we are family. We're in the same building. I get a chance to see them a lot. Uh, walking through the weight room, uh, walking through the gym. Um, I feel like you know that they, they are part of us. They they play with us. They even though they they they're on the women's side of it, we on the men's side of it. But we are one big family. Hopefully, I'm sorry that was a long-winded answer, but that's the passion that I feel uh, with her group. And, with our group, you know, we're, 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 we're one, we're together. We never have any of those type of like situations where I feel she's getting more gym time than me at Chrysler. Man, it's not about that here. Whatever we can do to help one another, we're all for it. Okay, coach, we'll see you.